Um, okay, so we have our load cases, our uh, 15 load cases, and uh, we can observe that um, we can run the calculation and see if uh, that uh, the displacement, for example, uh, for the self weight for the DL2, which is the static load and uh, life load. Uh, I will just I'll use the scroll. You see that uh, life load is jumping through the uh floors and the wind load is pushing so everything seems really good seems to be really good so then what i need it's the load combinations uh, i go here back to the my basic view and i go for the automatic combinations and in the 2d you remember that i was using manual combination but let's click it and uh, you can see that uh, if you marked all of the uh, things which are by default marked, it's uh, 31,000 of the combination. Of course, we have to check off all of this stuff and um, go back because we don't want to check this building for the fire right now. And we have 11,000, which is really, really big number. As you remember, if we are using manual combination, all this combination will appear in this pop up uh, scroll down menu and uh, we don't want to have 11,000 of uh, load cases in this uh, pop-up menu. So if we will use the full automatic combination, which in the number should be the same, uh, if we click OK and run the calculation, uh, we, uh, when we scroll down, you will see that it creates only uh, six more load cases. It creates ULS, ULS plus, ULS minus, SLS, and uh, and uh, ULS code combination and LS, SLS load combination. Uh, yeah, th this will be the combination which we will uh, really need to um, to dimension our structure because, for example, when we go right now for the um, design and still members design and i would like to check for uh, for example right now only for the uls or maybe for the both uls and sls and go for the member verification uh, let it be all on the beginning uh, if you are not sure what was here or you changed something and you want to have everything delete all of the stuff and just mark it, uh, all then run the calculation um and uh, it will take a little bit because it's uh, doing um, this operations but already you can see that uh, it found the worst scenario for the ULS uh, 1502 for example uh, this is uh, nice it found uh, for the basic combination wind but most of this stuff will be uh, from the some of the autom uh, automatic uh, combinations mm, let's wait a little bit to 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 see mm, we already see that we have some uh, cross over the limit the capacity and uh, yeah but the ratio is pretty good uh, if you keep uh, in your structure the ratio from 0 0.7 to, to 1 it means that it's okay uh, and i don't recommend uh, you to design for the ratio 1 um, i think 0 0.9 0 0.8 it's uh, it's good um, yeah wait a little bit more mm. Your task will be also to check the structure for the automatic, but also for the manual combination. You will have to create a free your own manual combination and check if you will uh, achieve the worst scenario than this uh, automatic ULS uh, thing. Uh, how to create manual combination? I will show you in a moment, um, but uh, let's click for a second for one of the elements which didn't uh, manage to fulfill the requirements uh, it's uh, it's uh, saying to us that it's incorrect uh, section um, 
let's check what exactly was uh, was incorrect and uh, we see that uh, the buckling and the buckling uh, has been um, too big so we can also click the calculation node and uh, check in a really um, a little bit more detail uh what's going on and we see that um m y e d was 75 so it was like this will what uh, appear and uh, if we go for the what is the capacity uh, it's 72 so we see that uh the y direction which when we see on this drawing we see that it's uh, our cross section is a little bit too low we could increase the height and probably 20 millimeters more and the cross section will be perfect so let's uh, leave it like it is right now but uh, also it's important to see if the ratio of some of the design it's not too small let's uh, mark uh, several of this and uh, uh, or maybe just put it here and um, i will just uh, turn off the calculation node and turn on the the um if we go here and see what numbers are the most low ratio we see that it's 54 probably it will be something reciprocal 30 uh, 28 29 and so on it has very small so this now this beams uh, should be uh, a little bit smaller but if we go for the 39 and let's see where is 59 um, it should be um, Uh, you can always type here for your uh, and should, um, turn on uh, to the uh, blue so it's 39 it's over here so somehow it's uh, understandable that uh, this cross section uh, should be a little bit bigger because here you this beam and these beams are attacked from several sides uh, but uh, how to fight with it first of all uh, we, we should think how the load will be distributed in reality and this is something which I was showing you already on the lesson that the load distribution the cladding system can distribute the load in several way if we go right now for the stru structure model and uh, start then uh, we can uh, see and uh, the sorry not this button therefore uh, rectangles go for the panels fe and uh, now for the loads and then for the load distribution re regions and click apply and we see that we have this um, strange thing like that and we would like to put our load only on the transverse beams um, so if I click like that and I have two way, go for the one way X and uh, uh, right now he's asking us to create one more, uh, one more time generation of the computational model. And this is not right, uh, it should be Y. And uh, if I marked all of this, uh, change it to the only Y and then uh, generation of computational model close and we see that right now it's correct the load is distributed from this segment it's distributed only on this and this uh, beam 
So let's close it. Let's cancel it. Let's run the calculation one more time, or maybe not. Uh, let's just change here the load distribution and let's assume that the wind will be taken only by the uh, columns. So let's make it one way. Um, I will just see. Um, okay. It should be one way X, I think. But uh, let's uh, see it. Uh, let's go for the structural model, generation of computational model. And uh, no, it's right now only. It should be one way Y. Uh, generation of computational model, generation. Yes, now it seems to be perfect. Uh, then run the calculation, close it, and one more time, still member design, uh, member verification, all information. We will wait a second for creating it. Um, And we had uh, member number 39, which didn't go. And still it isn't going, but the ratio is a little bit smaller. It was 111, right now it's 109. So yeah, this uh, didn't help so much, but uh, then we have to fight with the cross section to make it a little bit better. Okay, I will click close because you understand how to do it, I think, right now. And uh, your uh, task will be also to adjust this uh, cross section to the to the loads. So I think uh, right now you will know how to do it. Uh, here in this uh, steel aluminum design, uh, you have also a shortcut to the ch changing the cross section. I will uh, turn off the uh, loads uh, in distribution uh, regions. I will click OK and I will turn off the numbers and turn on the cross section. And you have to make some database of the cross section. Uh, let's add something. And you can 300, maybe somewhere will be needed. And also something smaller because we saw that the, that the ratio sometimes is very small and click close. Uh, of course, you um, can not only do HEA, but uh, you have the freedom of uh, choosing whatever cross section you want. Okay, the next uh, video will be about the post-processing and reading the data from this model.